In this exercise, we will make an automation circuit with double acting cylinder and timer. So what are the components we are going to need are here listed. One double acting cylinder, two uh, three by two rollers, roller switch, okay, and then third one is pneumatic timer, and fourth is five by two way valve, double pilot, and fifth one is dual pressure valve or or valve, whatever the name you can call it, dual pressure valve. What is this valve means? You have to have two pressures to make it work. You should have. Uh, pressure from two sides to make it work and this one is 3 by 2 selector switch okay here is the circuit diagram for them double acting cylinder 5 by 2 way valve double pilot because it's actuated by pneumatic air so double pilot and here is the dual pressure valve. You have to have pressure here and here so that it will work. And you have here selector switch, three by two way selector switch. This is the symbol for selector switch. And timer, we have timer. Right now we have to keep five seconds. Depends on the process, how much time delay you want. Okay, this is the timer, 3 by 2 way timer. It has an arrow and T. This is the roller, 3 by 2 roller. It is actuated by the roller. Uh, but the position of these rollers is not uh, as actual position. This is the just diagram. If you connect all these, then you will have the circuit working. But in practical, these rollers will be coming below the cylinder. So the cylinder will be activated by these rollers. One will be here, one will be here. Okay, so maybe this one will be there and this one will be there. Okay, first we need to collect as per the numbers. Like for example, two from the dual pressure valve is going to one four, 14 of this at five by two way double pilot valve, five by two double pilot. I will use uh, short names so that there is no confusion. Okay, and four is going to the cylinder there, two is going to the cylinder there. And 12 is going to here, and the roller, the output of the roller two is connected with the 12 of double pilot. This is, this triangles are the source. These are the distributor. This means distributor, the supply source distributor. This one is connected to distributor. This is connected to distributor. This one as well is connected to distributor. So this one is also connected to distributor. As a whole, if you see, this will be the circuit diagram. Two rollers, one here and one here, and one timer, and one three by two selector switch, one dual pressure valve, and other one is five by two double pilot and double acting cylinder. So it's like an automation circuit. Once you on it, it will work in a loop. Okay, let's see how does it look like in actual. This is the circuit diagram. Now in actual practice, once you arrange all the components in this um, connections, what you will get? Let's see. So here are the components arranged. As I told you, the rollers in the circuit diagram may be placed here and there, but in actual, they will be under the cylinder. So that they actuate when the cylinder presses them, then they get actuated. Okay, so this is the condition of roller. This, this is the distributor, the triangle, which I was talking about. The source one is always connected to this. A triangle. This is the triangle. The symbol ISO symbol for this distributor is triangle. So okay. So we have this two uh, rollers, three by two rollers, and you have this double acting cylinder, and you have this 
five by two double pilot. Okay, how do you know it? Based on the symbols, okay? From the external features, you cannot know it. Single pilot, double pilot, you don't know it. So you have to go back and check the circuit diagram. So if you see two arrows there, here and here, then this is double pilot. Okay, this is the circuit diagram. You cannot differentiate between shuttle valve or dual pressure valve, uh, or you can say other way, other name, and or or valve, uh, unless you see the circuit diagram. You see now, there is no ball inside. If there is a ball inside, it will be an and valve, okay? Now this is an or valve. So you have to apply two pressures so that it will work. Now this is selector switch. It is apparent from outside also, there is a selector. So this is the selector switch, three by two selector switch, and this is the timer, okay? Right now the time is zero seconds. That means there is no delay here. It will work rapidly. So here is the circuit, okay? Let me on it. Now you see, there is no timer set. So it will work rapidly and it, the product will damage this way. So we don't want this way because the products, what you are pushing will damage. So you need some timer or maybe as per the process, you need some timer of like five seconds, we say. Okay. Also, if you add uh, flow controls, you control the flow control, then you will control the speed of the piston. So now I added five seconds. So see the movement now. I'll push one product. Okay, it's not working. Okay, okay. Okay, got activated. Timer got activated. Okay, it will push one product and wait five seconds and other you have to make sure the roller touches the cylinder okay then only it will be activated okay well it's a continuous loop now okay you can see the timer get reset every five seconds what i did just is uh, i tightened this fixture fixtures so that they are strongly fixed if they are loose then they will lose the contact between the piston and the roller which activates the valve so here is the timer every five seconds now we have set it to five seconds so every five seconds it will work and you will see it will be activated now it, it's, there is a problem with this valve okay now every five seconds <laughs> yeah. okay every five seconds it will be activated you see it once it hits five seconds it will be activated the force is more if we apply here two flow controls pressure controls we can control the speed and the torque also at which it goes timer selector real pressure valve 5x2 double pilot two rollers as per the connection one is connected to the distributor one is connected to the distributor one is connected to distributor and timer have two connected to dual pressure valve and two connected to one by four one by two of dual pressure valve one by four of dual pressure valve is connected to the timer okay this is what it is Okay, automatic circuit which will work on its own. Put the well acting cylinder and pneumatic timer. 